Good day, everyone. We are the group 4B from BSN3. I am Anne Francis Tan, and together with me are my groupmates, John Michael Sean, Sylvia Tabia, Sofia Marita Gamulila, and Rufaren Jajil Turco. And we are here to present our research entitled, Live Experiences of COVID-19 Positive Healthcare Professionals. You might be currently witnessing one of the century's most significant problems, the COVID-19 pandemic which significantly impacted the health of individuals physically and mentally. Healthcare workers such as nurses and doctors are one of the front lines who are doing their utmost to eradicate the spread of this invisible enemy. On September 29, 2021, a news article stated that a provincial health officer and 70 workers from eight Negros Occidental hospitals have confirmed positive for COVID-19. Thus, it resulted in the battles faced by nurses such as anxiety, fears, stress, discrimination, etc. Purpose of the study, this study aimed to explore the live experiences of COVID-19 positive healthcare professionals, specifically on how they cope with the impacts or experiences when being isolated, quarantined, and recovering from the disease for a long period. The research design a qualitative research design employing a phenomenological approach was utilized in this study. It used a wide range of words that precisely describe a patient's experiences through an in-depth interview. Phenomenology method highlights the essence of experiences, putting aside the researcher's perception of a phenomenon, giving meaning to the nurse's lived experiences, and discovering new insights. So for the participants, this research study utilized non-probability sampling, particularly a snowball sampling technique in selecting the participants were six healthcare professionals, specifically nurses, who were infected with COVID-19, working from a private hospital in Bacolod City and within the age range of 20 to 50 years old, were chosen based on the inclusion criteria set. So the participants were equipped with the implications and purpose of this study and their anonymity was maintained by using pseudonyms. So for the instrument, a semi-structured interview guide was utilized, which was validated by a guidance counselor using the Lincoln and Guba trustworthiness test. So it consisted of two parts, part one for the demographic pro profile of the participants and part two for the guide general and probing questions. From the narratives of the participants, four major themes have emerged. Major theme one is infection primary psychological response, which refers to the initial instinct psychological response of the participants when they were directly informed of being positive for the COVID-19 virus. Subtheme one a is accounting infection possibility. This subtheme showed that they are anticipating the high possibility of getting infected by the virus. Subtheme one b is fear of isolation and transmission of virus towards loved ones. Healthcare professionals with their knowledge of the virus understand that they should be isolated from their family and significant others and bear the mental and emotional effects of isolation to keep their loved ones safe. Subtheme 1C is domestic responsibility, abandonment, anxiety. Healthcare professionals have responsibilities at home that are in need of their physical presence, such as taking care of the kids, old relatives, family members that have disabilities, and other household chores. However, due to being infected with the virus, it is mandatory to stay away from them. Subtheme one D is self and personal welfare agitation. Nurses also cared about their personal well-being as they faced the fact of being infected, which was revealed in their statements of being nervous for themselves, feeling negative about the result, and thinking about the situation they will be in the near future. So major theme two is quarantine experience of nurses, which talks about their experiences during their quarantine days. So subtheme two A is emotional and mental distress from isolation. This subtheme reveals the stresses that the healthcare professional faced during quarantine, either resulting in mental and emotional disturbances attributed to being alone. So subtheme two B is anxiety towards social discrimination. This anxiety for criticism can be traced to news and statistics in the Philippines regarding discrimination towards those tested positive for the virus, especially the nurses, as they are subject to discrimination which includes cases of physical and verbal assault. Subtim 2C is self-censure, and this subtim involves self-blame of healthcare professionals for transmitting the virus to their loved ones. So subtim 2D is health restoration. So this subtim refers to the participants being cooperative on personal recovery from the virus through medical compliance. Major theme three is other issues encountered during infection, which refers to the other issues, concerns, and problems encountered by the participants aside from factors that are traceable in physical, mental, and emotional health. Subtheme three A is social discrimination. This shows how lack of education regarding the virus, as well as lack of empathy and support towards the healthcare workers in the country, developed stigmatization against medical professionals. 
Subject three B is financial concerns. As the pandemic caused economic turmoil worldwide, even medical practitioners are affected financially, especially as the compensation in the Philippines follows the ideology of no work, no pay. Subtheme three C is late medical response. This subtheme denotes a lack of resources on and manpower in the medical field in times of health crisis. Major theme four is coping mechanisms of nurses while quarantined, which refers to the activities of the participants during quarantine and as they are recovering from the COVID-19 virus. Subtheme 4A is religious and spiritual activities. This subtheme showcases the healthcare workers' spiritual and religious faith, specifically through praying. Subtheme 4B is physical and personal task productivity. This subtheme disclosed forms of physical productivity and performing personal tasks, such as keeping themselves busy by cleaning the room, exercising, and planning for certain events. Subtheme 4C is inter entertainment and media usage. This shows that the respondents utilize entertainment and available media to cope with the isolation, such as watching movies and listening to music. Subtheme 4D is social interaction. Human beings have social needs to be fulfilled, such as having a support system in times of mental and emotional crisis like the pandemic, such as talking to family and friends through phone and video calls. Lastly, Subtheme 4A is focusing on health restoration. This showcases that the respondents as professionals in the medical field highly value medical cooperation as they utilize team inhalation and took medications that are recommended by the doctor. In conclusion, the participants have responded negatively where reactions include anxiety for themselves and their loved ones that also contribute to fearing to abandon responsibilities at homes due to being quarantined. Quarantine experience of the healthcare professionals is also dominantly negative, where the central focus of this experience revolves around having emotional and mental issues, developing anxiety to be discriminated, and blaming themselves of their situation. However, with their medical experience, some healthcare workers utilize their knowledge to put their best efforts to be healthy and to utilize the quarantine period to heal and get cured as soon as possible. Moreover, they have experienced other important issues while being isolated, such as being discriminated against directly, experiencing financial problems, and being treated with less level of quality than the immediate standard medical response. With being alone and striving to be fully healed, coping mechanisms are being practiced such as praying, doing personal chores and physical exercises, watching movies, engaging in social interactions, practicing home remedies, and following physicians' recommendations. Furthermore, the significance of our findings to nursing education is that it will become an awareness and knowledge basis for coping in case of getting infected and this would contribute to the knowledge of the nursing students to better grasp the situation and be able to foresee themselves on what should change in medical practice to improve healthcare as they will eventually replace the workforce in the future. As for their recommendations, the hospital administrators should protect not only the health of infected healthcare professionals but also their mental being. Next, the patient care managers must train nurses on ensuring standards and proper patient care. For the staff nurses, they must join the said training and seminars and effectively apply this level of psychological support. Next, it is recommended that nurse educators should be very careful and precise with the teaching about COVID-19 virus with all the safety measures, medications, treatments, and ethical information. Then, for the nursing students, they are recommended to be mediators of such knowledge to the public spreading accurate information about the criticisms toward healthcare professionals. Next, the patients with COVID-19 must be aware of the implication of being positive not for the purpose of daunting threats but by providing a qualified and validated message of concern. So finally, future researchers are recommended to utilize this study for the purpose of referencing and conducting similar studies. Then that would be the end of our presentation. Thank you for watching.